I'm out on that one. Oh! Hey, Jacob. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New York City, Brooklyn, New York. The vlog. The vlog, Brooklyn, New York. I'm here back with King of the Vlogs, Jacob Carlson, here in his home. Today, I have found another horrible restaurant. But before we order the food, you know what we gotta do. Let's roll the intro. Alright, so this restaurant that I found labels itself as soul food, Caribbean food, and like fast food American food. I've heard the service is terrible as well as the food. They have a 1.5 star on Yelp. Oh my god. That is the lowest rated restaurant we've tried so far. And once again, I keep making these videos because I keep finding lower rated restaurants. It, they're hard to find. It's actually surprisingly not that easy to find these places. But anyways, we're gonna place an order right now. I do, before I place the order, want to read you guys some of the reviews from both Google Maps and from Yelp. So this is actually the most recent review. This is from a local guide. He says, extremely slow service and terrible customer service. They were making orders like they were in their own kitchen instead of running a business. We got another one that says, didn't like the food. It was bland and not properly seasoned. It's a half star rating. The curry goat was horrible. It was not seasoned, just boiled in curry powder. The rotisserie chicken was charred. The macaroni and cheese, collard greens, and mashed potatoes were horrible. The sliders were burnt. Will not be ordering from them again. Here's another one. It says, I placed an order on Uber Eats from here and got so sick. I was vomiting nonstop. All I had was a smoothie and shrimp. My daughter had a red velvet waffle. He said he decided to open an account just to leave her a review. Because <laughs> it was that bad. Are you excited for this, Jacob? No. I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty hungry too. Uh, so I'm gonna get a mishmash of food here and then we're gonna bring it out on the table and try it all out and see what happens. Guys, look at this ridiculously large menu they have. I should mention, it's actually really expensive. Like, I don't know why all these really crappy places to eat have been super, super expensive. Let's get a uh, cheesy broccoli. We'll get hash browns, corned beef hash, pieces of fried chicken and macaroni and cheese, whatever sweet and sticky wings are. Get some red velvet pancakes. We'll get a slider. It's only $1.50, we'll get two of those. All right, and I just came across this guy's cotton candy smoothie. Granted, it is gonna be a lot of food, but I wanna give them an equal chance. I don't think it's gonna be good though. All right, I'm going to check out and order this food. Boom. I am not excited in the slightest for this. I just don't like when somebody leaves a review saying they got sick, because that scares me. And since I'm filming so many videos so frequently, I'm scared to get sick. If there was any chance that any of it was going to be good, then yes, I would be excited. Because some of that stuff sounds good, but... 1.5 stars on Yelp. Guys, the restaurant's calling me. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. Yeah? Hi. Hey. You placed the order for DoorDash, right? I spoke to you a little while ago. Yeah. Hi. Currently, we don't have the two-piece with the mac. I don't know why that's still on the menu. All right. No macaroni and cheese, just rice and beans. All right, guys. The order is arrived. Thank you very much. Oh boy, that's a lot. Thanks, man. Have a great day. It smells. It smells delicious. What do you think, Jacob? How does it smell? It smells delicious. It doesn't smell bad at all. Soul food. Thanks for buying all this. Yeah. All right, guys. What is that? Oh, what is that? Come on, I don't. Already? <laughs> we're gonna. Here's what we're gonna do. Like all these food videos. <laughs> oh, oh god. That's a cotton candy milkshake. You know what's funny is when you order from these apps, it doesn't feel like you're getting crappy food because you're ordering on the app. Yeah. And there's always one of these. It's always something rolled up in a piece of tin foil. I need to get some water, hold on. I really don't even know what to call all this stuff. First thing right off the bat we can tell we have our cotton candy milkshake. It looks like... It's cotton candy smoothie. Is what cotton it's candy smoothie. It looks like fruity pebbles grinded down into pulp and that's been put on the bottom. That's not what you want out of anything. And also, it's just like half of the cup that's filled. It probably tastes good, maybe. 
Holy sh- That smells so fucking bad. They probably use yogurt. If it's a smoothie, they probably used yogurt. That's why. Set your expectations. Then we got Jimbo Slosh. I honestly don't even know what this is. What? The top looks... <laughs> smell good. Um, I mean, it doesn't... You know what this smells like? It smells like stuffing. It smells like, like, like Hanukkah food that like has been left out in the synagogue. All right, let's. What's in here? <laughs> Cheesy broccoli. It's exactly what they say it is. Broccoli with melted cheese. Look at the little fucking broccoli water down here. Next up, what's next? Chicken. <laughs> Here's our two sliders <laughs> with a nice little Dixie cup of ketchup. That doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look great, but it doesn't look too bad. Then we got our surprise thing rolled up in a silver foil. Wait, wait, before you, what do you think it is? I, it feels like a tortilla. Let me see. I don't know why they would throw a tortilla in It does in feel here. like a tortilla. <laughs> I don't want it to be a tortilla. Oh my god, it's a hash brown. <laughs> <laughs> Did you order that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Those do not look too bad. I mean, it's a weird color, but it's red velvet. Red velvet pancakes. It smells like maple syrup. Heavily, you know, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm a little excited about those. Okay, I mean, and this is the fried chicken. Oh, that is a. W Wait, we're missing something. Maybe this is the rice and beans. Oh no, these are the sweet and sticky wings. Those look like someone took wings and just desaturated them a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like they're they're like a. Weird I think gray these are color. literally maple syrup like on wings. All right, Jacob, you ready? Yeah. Let's... We're gonna do this hash brown first. It doesn't look good. Oh, that doesn't smell, it doesn't smell great. It's not a good smelling hash brown. Let's try it though. It just smells like fried stuff. It's not good. It's not a good hash brown. No. But it's not a bad hash brown. I'm so hungry. Yeah, like, I, like it, since this doesn't taste disgusting. Yeah. And I don't feel like it's gonna kill me, I'm gonna eat all of it. It just tastes like canola oil. Yeah. There's a lot of canola yeah, oil. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. We got cheddar cheese broccoli. It just looks like a copious amount of microwave cheese yeah, on a I'm piece of broccoli. Okay with. Broccoli and cheese, for how stupid of a dish it is, it does taste good. Yeah. When it's melted cheese, like actually like properly melted. This just looks like they put some cheese in the microwave. Some shredded yeah. cheese. It tastes a little nasty. I'll, I'll eat it. Once again, you know what I'm gonna do? Take some of this cheese <laughs> on its own. So the cheese, the consistency of the cheese makes it f sort of feel like it's real and half real, half fake cheese. Yeah. But it's like flavorless. Like there's no flavor in that cheese. A very rubbery. <sighs> mm -mm. Oh, last one got me. We have our cotton candy shake thing. Cotton candy. Juice. I believe in you, buddy. <laughs> it 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 messes with your head a little bit. Ooh, no, no, no! I don't like where it's going in my body. It's like. It tastes like spoiled eggnog. It's very eggnoggy. It's like super thick. And there's like a hint of cotton candy back there. It tastes like melted Greek yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's a bad smoothie. Like it's, it's bad Greek yogurt. Or mm. Maybe not even Greek yogurt. Just bad yogurt. Mm. They mixed in fruity mm. pebbles and <laughs> some ice. And that's, I, I legitimately think it, it's like yogurt, ice, and fruity pebbles. <laughs> that second time around really got me. Try again. Try again. Go again. Whoo! If you put some alcohol in that, that'll that'll like that'll be the worst hangover you ever have. God, that's horrible. It's not good. That's really bad. Before we do Chef Antonio's Wonder box, we're gonna give you guys a poll. Would you guys try the worst soul food in New York City, like? Would you try this? Let us know. Let us know up there. Red Velvet Pancakes, that's what's coming up next. But let us know on screen. Alright, Jacob. Yep. Red Velvet Pancakes. 
the consistency is not good. Like it doesn't. Yeah. I don't know how you think it's appealing. It doesn't look like a good pancake to me. No, no. So, but yeah, I'm being the voice of reason here. Yeah. That's because we got them delivered in a takeout container. That's fine. They're just sitting in their own steam and getting soggy. Like, you know, to get they might credit, be better fresh. They might be better fresh. Maybe. I'll be honest. They don't smell too bad. They do have a hint of red velvet in them. But they don't like the consistency. It doesn't look like a good pancake. No, but and the price. Let's remember. How much was it? Thirteen dollars for these. For these pancakes. Oh no no no! Ready? Yeah. I'm okay with it. Okay. Yeah. They have like an okay after flavor. Are they worth thirteen dollars? No. Hell no. Hell three, no. Three dollars. I I think what's happening right now, I mean Jacob's head is that. We found something that doesn't taste horrible, <laughs> <laughs> so we're sticking with it, and we're gonna finish it off. You ready for the thing that I think looks the most disgusting? We got a bucket of Jerry slop. So I'm thinking, I'm starting to understand that I think this is the rice and beans. There's no other rice and beans anywhere, so this is the only thing I could think is rice and beans. Let me see it again. It looks like there's like, no, I thought that was like sausage. It, it looks like, it smells like it could be good. It. It honestly smells and sort of looks like stuffing. <laughs> if you guys... <laughs> I'm gonna get some of these crispy bits. Oh, I know what this is. This what? is the corned beef hash. Oh. Okay, now I'm not as grossed out. Okay. Let's go. So we just didn't get the rice and beans. I'm out on that one. I'm out on that one. Yeah. I'm out on that one! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! Yo, what's going on? What's going oh, on? Oh, oh, she's finding me on the way down. Woo -hoo! Oh! <sighs> God, that's disgusting. Yeah, it was bad. Oh my goodness. <coughs> I could taste it. They like, they didn't even plastic. try. I have a really strong plastic flavor. Yeah, yeah like burnt plastic. Yeah. Okay, corned beef hash. I'm, I hate you. <laughs> I hate <laughs> you. Yeah. So I guess it's important to note that both this restaurant as well has missed one of the items on our order. Yeah. We didn't get our rice really, and beans. really gritty. And I paid for my rice and beans and I didn't get them. All right. Next is up. Well, tasting after how their meat tasted on that one. I'm not super excited for this, but this is the, this is the sliders. So sliders, the word slider, I believe originated with White Castle with their miniature burgers. You know, I don't know how truthful this is, but I was told that the, the nickname slider for their little burgers wasn't originated by White Castle, but by their patrons. And the reason they called them sliders is because they slid right through you. Oh. So now the fact that I hear everything called a slider, I'm like, don't don't use that word. Call it a slider. <laughs> Anyhow, these are the sliders. This is what the beef looks like. The more I look at it now, the more gross it looks from the bottom. Especially look at the bottom of that meat. They're not warm anymore. No. The meat's bland, it's flavorless. But it does taste cooked. It tastes it cooked. It looks cooked. It looks cooked from the inside. Better than the last one that I had, which was not cooked for sure. I couldn't give them too much crap. It's, it's not bad. I would eat the whole thing of this. If you went over to uh, your friend's house for the 4th of July, and they were grilling for the first time ever, this is what you'd get. The only way to put it is that they're just not good. Mm-hmm. But a very dry meat. <sighs> I had to take a break for a second, so I was getting a little too stuffed up on this one. All right, Jacob, what's next? This was their signature most popular dish, coming in at like $12. They're sweet and sticky wings. The whole wing, which is good. Yeah. Um, I guess, I don't know. It looks like average fried chicken. I mean, it doesn't look, once again, if this was just served to me, I, it looks like okay. Yeah, I made the comment earlier that it looks desaturated. The, the, it is a, like a sort of a weird color. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't look bad. It's like maple glazed fried chicken. I'm gonna say this skin is seasoned really well. Aside from the, like the weird like sweet honey sauce on it that's on there, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised at how well this the skin is seasoned. I'm getting a little flavorless. Like the inside meat is dry. For twelve fifty, hell no. It's just okay. It's like whatever. There's definitely honey on the outside. I think. Yeah. yeah. Like the kind of honey that you get in like a bear. I've I've definitely had worse wings in my life. Mm -hmm. Like the if we were to order the shrimp and the oxtail and stuff like mm -hmm. that, which was really expensive and I didn't want to shell out the money on, like. Also, I wouldn't take that risk. Yeah, it might have been even worse, 
but I really didn't want to get super sick if I was going to get sick. And this repu this restaurant doesn't have the best reputation. So I'm happy with what we walked away. I mean, we found out, look, like we found out some things here are horrible, like that cotton candy milkshake and the <laughs> corned beef hash, corned beef hash, which is uneatable. We learned that they will miss some of your food. Yeah. Like we didn't get the rice and beans that I paid for. Which is so shitty considering that it's 50, paid $50. Yeah. Yeah. That's the end of that one, folks. Anticlimactic ending. You know, I'm, if I'm honest, it's okay to <laughs> get one of these every so often that's not gonna like make you instantly sick. Yeah. It maybe proves the point that some of these are maybe a little too harshly rated. Yeah. I'm surprised. This rating should have been applied to a few of the other restaurants we've tried. Mm -hmm. Comparatively, this one is actually not that bad. We're gonna leave you there. Guys, check out Mr. Jacob Carlson. Yes, please. Thanks for letting me film in your house. Thanks for the food. Thanks for joining for this meal. Um, if you want to support this channel, you can buy some merch with this beautiful hoodie on screen now or in the description. Yeah. If you're on Facebook, you should like this page. If you're on YouTube, you should subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget that I love you a long time. Uh, goodbye.